but I also wanted to talk about All right, hey everybody, this is Caliga 50 k and today I'm going to be introducing my newest brush pack, which is Brush Decay 2. And right off the bat, I know there's other things I need to address as well, such as why I haven't been uploading for the past six months or so. Um, let's, let's just save that for another video. Uh, I promise there's a good reason for that. Um, but for now, here's everything you need to know about Brush Decay 2. There are 10 brushes, all dual brushes, so technically 20 in total, and I'm going to go over each one of them because there are a few crucial features you should know about before using them. So number one, we have DK Duo Fade. And the reason why it's called that is because as you're writing, you can actually see the texture changing mid-stroke, which does result into some very pleasing letter formations. Here's one example. Again, the letters change the longer I keep my Apple Pencil on the iPad. This is really the stuff you have to experience yourself because it adds another layer of vitality. The second one is DK Duo Clean, and as the name suggests, it's just the cleanest brush out of all the ones I'm going to talk about today. This is a brush I would personally use to sketch up some of my logo commissions because there are no real fancy effects, just a simple brush with realistic textures. It has color dynamic settings, which in my opinion hit just the right blend of not too subtle, but also not too much, which is a lot harder to achieve than people think. But of course, you can always go ahead and set it to zero to have solid colors. Now the third one is another version of the clean brush, but works best on lighter backgrounds. I called it the ghost brush, doesn't mean anything, uh, just thought it sounded cool. But if you set the color right, you can have like a subtle aftertone and it overall just feels a little bit heavier and punchier than the clean one. This is the one I use for the cover image you can see in all my promotional posts. Fun fact, this is actually a quote by Johann Wolfgang Goethe, who was born in the same city I grew up in, which is Frankfurt. Also, falls jemand aus Frankfurt kommt, Grüße gehen raus. Okay, so next up, we have a brush called DK Duo Aurora. And no joke, this was inspired by one of the scenes in Frozen 2, which by the way, if you haven't seen yet, it's kind of meh. I think it was too hype, but yeah, there's this one scene in which Elsa's eyes reflects purple light, uh, this moment right here. So I thought, why not create a brush that has a white base, which represents the ice and has like subtle colors inside of it. And that's where this brush comes in, white base, with subtle color accents, get additional effects if you go over a stroke multiple times, like this, one and two, definitely a fun one. Also, if you search for Aurora, Google shows you the Norwegian singer-songwriter who contributed in making Into the Unknown, the title track of Frozen 2. Couldn't have been a better name for this brush. So here we are, number five, DK Duo Nebula. This is similar to the fade one, you can see the effect mid-stroke, so the more and longer you are writing, the more you see of the effect. Again, as I said before, just adds a sense of liveliness to your brush. Next one is DK Duo Splatter. You might have guessed it, this one has little splatters inside each individual stroke, but honestly, I think the highlight here is just the feeling in the end. The end parts are really really sharp, which is hard to achieve on its own with certain shapes, um, I think you can see that more in DK Duo Spikes. Both of them have a very unique feel. Okay, next one, my personal favorite, DK Duo Fill. And the reason why it's called Fill is because it doesn't actually write in the beginning. So the letters take shape only if you write long enough. A very weird feeling in the beginning, but I realized this sort of brush behavior creates the most interesting flow. And again, doing multiple strokes to have these additional colors is also possible and of course, highly encouraged. If I only had to pick one out of all 10 brushes, this is it, this is the one. So only two more left, one of them being DK Duo Fizzle, similar to the Aurora brush, but the main difference is the outer texture. It's a lot more spike here and features the signature move, the quote unquote changing mid stroke characteristic. And then last but certainly not least, DK Duo Shade, Long story short, a more dense version of the fade brush without any fancy effects. You know, truth is, I could talk about these brushes all day and show you, but I feel like some of the features you really need to experience yourself. Um, I, gave, I gave it to some of my friends here in Korea as well, and that's what they pretty much said, too. This time in particular, I thought about not just highlighting features, but I also really wanted to talk benefits. Because in the end, mentioning that all of them are dual brushes, doesn't really mean anything on paper, especially if it looks and feels the same as a regular single brush. So yeah, this has been my sort of new approach. Uh, gonna be highlighting that again in a brush making tutorial, which is coming soon. So 
Make sure to subscribe if you want to be the first to see that. The brush pack is available starting today on my website, kalevipdk.com. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments or send me a DM on my Instagram at kalevipdk. Trying to go live there more often um, as well. Wait, I almost forgot. The worksheets. They are brand new, super simple, and should be a great help to maximize the value out of your freshly downloaded brushes. I'm going to be showing you guys video footage of me going through the entire alphabet stroke by stroke so you can watch it, rewatch it later on your own pace. And that's been it. A lot of catching up to do. Um, we'll see how things go. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.